test both of them. For each radical, for each radicand, for the values that are undefined, we know that we cannot have, um, for each radical that's undefined, I'm sorry, we know it has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we have to have x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0. 3 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And then what else? Do we also have a denominator? Right? So therefore, that has to be, that cannot equal 0. So therefore, we write square root of 3 minus x equals 0. So whatever values make that equal 0 are also um, not going to be in the function. So let's go ahead and see. So when I subtract here, x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1 for this one to be defined. x has to be less than or equal to 3 for this function to be defined. And so therefore, I do 3 minus x equals 0. OK, and x cannot equal, if x equals 3, then that means this one is undefined. So it's undefined. Undefined at x equals 3. It's defined, and that's where this kind of gets a little bit confusing. It's undefined at x equals 3. It's defined for all values that are greater than negative 1 but less than 3. So therefore, it's undefined, because that's what the question is asking, for all values that are less than negative 1 and values that are greater than 3. Well, we know that 3 is not going to be, 3 is, can't equal, yes? This one? I don't know. It's two. That's just a mental error on myself. And actually, you know what? I actually could have avoided all of this. What's the air? Cold air. What's the air? Uh, I could avoid all this actually just by using this. It can't be equal to three, right? Would you guys agree? So I don't even actually have to even go through this step. If I just rewrite that as greater than, that's perfectly fine as well. So x has to be greater than or equal to 2, and x has to be less than 3. So it's, those are the values where it's defined. So to find the values where it's undefined is x has to be less than, um, less than or less than 2, and x has to be greater than 3. Greater than or equal to three, but it can't equal three. That's a mistake. Can't equal three. Yeah, it is negative. Oh, I didn't write that. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. It's negative two. And x can has to be greater than three. Okay? Those are the values that make the function undefined.